planning to hire Dave Canales as their new head coach. Now he'll get a chance to work with Bryce Young, who struggled as a rookie as offensive coordinator in Tampa Bay, working with Baker Mayfield as they won the NFC South. Carolina Panthers fans, I am not exaggerating. This is the greatest news you guys may have received since finding out that you won the NFC Championship about a decade ago. And I'm not kidding. Ever since then, it seems like each and every single event involving the Carolina Panthers was bad news, maybe except for drafting Christian McCaffrey, but that's about it. So before we get to the content, we've been on a double upload streak for the past couple of days. If you want to support the content, make sure you subscribe and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. We also upload on Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok, shorter forms of content and give you behind the scenes looks as to how we make the content so quickly without sacrificing quality, of course. And now that we get all of that out of the way, break! This is the easiest way to make $150 now. All Christian McCaffrey needs in the NFC Championship is one rush yard, which means he's pretty much a free square on prize picks. All you have to do is download prize picks, use my promo code microphone to double your deposit up until $100, and then make these picks. I got Isaiah Pacheco scoring one touchdown and Harrison Bucker making more than 1.5 field goals. Isaiah Pacheco has scored one touchdown over the last five games. Harrison Bucker has been on a field goal friend and I placed $24 to make $150, which are incredible odds. I post my picks for free on a daily basis on my Instagram and Snapchat story. And thank you, Prize Picks, for the sponsor. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? It's been a very difficult road for the Carolina Panthers. I mean, it seems like ever since they made that appearance in the Super Bowl, from the very moment that Cam Newton wasn't willing to jump on that ball that he fumbled to recover it, we just saw more and more bad news, whether it was Luke Keekley retiring a little bit earlier than people would like, letting go of Ron Rivera, letting go of Cam Newton, because Cam Newton wasn't the same player anymore because of his shoulder injury, bringing in Matt Rule, moving forward with Teddy Bridgewater, then eventually eventually Sam Darnold, then eventually Baker Mayfield, then a couple of times there was PJ Walker in there. It was just a huge mess. And a huge reason for that mess was none other than David Tepper. You know, the guy that threw a drink at a fan the other week because he's so pissed off that his team has the number one pick in this year's NFL draft. But unfortunately, he traded that number one overall pick to the Chicago Bears alongside DJ Moore, a second round pick last year, the number nine overall pick last year, and a second round pick in 2025. And and I've gone on the record multiple times saying that the Carolina Panthers are an absolute dumpster fire. And it doesn't seem like there's a way that they could get back to where they once were. Their best wide receiver is a past his prime Adam Thielen. They had the opportunity to trade Brian Burns for multiple first round picks last year. And it would have been an intelligent decision if you wanted to make such a trade for Bryce Young in the 2023 NFL draft. Now, there's a chance that Brian Burns walks away in free agency. So from a roster construction perspective, the Carolina Panthers have practiced extreme incompetence. And I said multiple times last year that I don't think it's fair to compare Bryce Young to CJ Stroud because I don't think any quarterback can succeed in Bryce Young's situation. Frank Reich's play calling didn't make sense. Bryce Young's offensive line was terrible. And the fact that you were the worst team in the NFL and you don't have your first round pick this year, it made me feel like there was no chance that any head coach would want to take on this job. But there was an individual that other head coaches really Really spoke glowingly about. His name was Dave Canales. To give you an idea of who Dave Canales is, this is Pete Carroll talking about him. Well, he, he's, he's, he is one of the young guns. He's one of the guys that we see come to the league that you know have that kind of that connection to uh, creativity, um, freedom of thought, openness uh, that, that allow for so many good young guys to, to make it. And we see it whether they're play callers or whether they're head coaches or all, it, it's happening and it's a really cool yeah, element to, to you see guys express their ability. Dave is one of the guys that fits right in with that. He's been so deeply involved with us that he is us. I mean, he's, you know, we talk the same language, we see things the same, we evaluate the same. We have the, the, the backlog of stories that we've shared and what we've learned and how we've grown. And Dave's a guy that has, for me, I've always gone to him and, and communicated with him because he has great vision and great insights. Uh, and he works really, really well with people. And so uh, he's been an integral part of our process along the way. So, I mean, he's, you know, he, to me, he's going to 
he's going to be highly successful. There's been times where I could tell if a head coach is a fraud and is just really good at talking to the media, but this man certainly seems like he knows what he's doing and his track record is very, very impressive. For those of you guys that don't know who Dave Canales is, he was the Seattle Seahawks quarterbacks coach from the 2018 to 2019 season, which was when Russell Wilson was under center, but he was also the quarterback coach for 2022 when Geno Smith was under center. And this past year, he had the opportunity to become the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator. And during that year, he quite literally saved Baker Mayfield's career. I mean, this was Baker Mayfield's first time throwing for over 4,000 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had a better season with him under center than they did with Tom Brady in his final season of his career. And that's not a knock on Tom Brady. That's more of a testament to the greatness of Dave Canales. If you just listen to this man in interviews, you could tell how brilliant he is and you could tell his passion for the game. First and foremost, you know, I want to make Coach Bowles proud. You know, I want to make him right. Excuse me. Um, you know, just uh, just the guy who believed in me, you know, gave me a shot. And so for me, it's about just, it's about grinding, working hard and trying to prove him right. You know, Jason Light too. And uh, the whole group, you know, it's just, um, it's, uh, it means a lot to me. It's important. The problem is that the Carolina Panthers are not a coveted head coaching position at all whatsoever. David Tepper has proven to me that he is not a patient individual at all whatsoever. He didn't hold himself accountable for selecting Bryce Young over CJ Stroud. No, it's been reported and we talked about it. Originally, we were going to go to the number two pick and, and uh, we thought we'd get CJ because we thought the Texans were going to pick Bryce. And listen, we preferred Bryce. He was our number one pick. We had a lot of conviction. Um, but, uh, you know, the, in, in answer to your questions, it's just not the way the process was done. The process was done the way the process was done. And for me, I'm totally confident in agreeing with that pick. Which I don't think was the mistake. I think the mistake was packaging multiple first round picks and your best offensive player to trade up to the number one overall pick when you clearly didn't have any other weapons on the table. So convincing Canales to take the job was going to be difficult, but it seems like the Panthers had a plan here. You see, the Panthers recently announced that they're hiring Dan Morgan as their new general manager. Dan Morgan worked with Canales when he was in Seattle. So it seems like there's a coherent plan here. So the Carolina Panthers made it official. According to Adam Schefter, the Panthers are hiring Buccaneers offensive Dave Canales as their new head coach. Panthers have offered the job and Canales is taking it. It will get done per source. In terms of the quality of head coach you're getting here, I think this is a home run. I mean, he's young, he's proven, he's 42 years old, he's enthusiastic. The only concern that I have is the patience that the Panthers will have and the understanding of how bad of a situation they're in but it's a situation that can be resolved if the Carolina Panthers finally get Bryce Young some help in the second round of this year's NFL draft and in free agency then there is a light at the end of the tunnel and luckily for the Carolina Panthers there is a premium wide receiver that is available this year and that man is T Higgins you get T Higgins over to Carolina you get Bryce Young a wide receiver one and you evaluate whether or not he truly is your future at the quarterback position which I I personally think he is and you have something that is worth watching on Sundays and hopefully next year you finish with the eighth overall pick in the NFL draft as opposed to being the overall worst team in the NFL again this is not a job that was coveted at all whatsoever but if there's a man that has proven that he is more than capable of turning around bad franchises or putting quarterbacks in the best position to succeed it's Dave Canales who's worked with Geno Smith and turned his career around and Baker Mayfield this past year I give the Carolina Panthers Panthers an A plus for this hiring. I just hope they understand that they are years away from contention. And it's not because of Canales, it's because the roster was constructed horribly. I mean, the Panthers really set themselves back with some of the decisions they've made during this rebuild. But as we've seen with teams in the past, such as the Houston Texans, for instance, although they had a star quarterback that they were able to get multiple first round picks for in a trade to start their rebuild, or probably the better comparison would be the Buffalo Bills in the early part of of the Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott era when they first drafted Josh Allen. If 
if you're patient with your staff and you have faith in your staff, you understand that this is a long road, then eventually a successful rebuild can get done. And the Carolina Panthers can be a good team again. It's just they've dug themselves a huge hole and they need to make sure they're patient and understand that it's going to take some time to get out of this. But for now, I think Dave Canales is the right man for the hire. I hope David Tepper is patient with him. I hope he understands that his head coach and his quarterback aren't the problem anymore. It's the rest of the team. So if you're a Panthers fan, what do you think about this hire? Personally, I give it an A+. When you consider that the Panthers weren't going to get a Bill Belichick or a Jim Harbaugh or one of those blue chip head coaches that are established because, well, no head coach that's established is going to want to come to Carolina, stick it out for a multi-year rebuild, then I give it an A+. Dave Canales is probably the best man for this job and the best fit for this job. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.